let's take a moment to talk about ambition. I am by nature a very ambitious person. You can, that, that, that is among the biggest of reasons that I'm in House Slytherin, if you've seen any of my videos and also looked at this hat that I'm wearing. It's also one of the reasons that I identify with most villains is because they're more typically ambitious characters than, say, the heroes. I want to talk about ambition because it's something that a writer has to have. Um, something that if you're wanting to make it in this larger world that is the publishing world, that is fame, that is the media situation, if you want to get your name out there and if you want to be a successful writer, successful author, successful public figure, and maybe you don't, maybe you just want to publish some books and call it good, that's fine. Totally an option. But if you're like me, and you have those dreams of doing at least national, if not international, book tours, if you have those dreams of seeing your book in bookstores across the nation, if you have those dreams of trying to be like J.K. Rowling, you gotta have ambition, right? And it's something, it's, it's something that gets me where I am every single time because whenever I start to get nervous about, oh, I don't belong here, or whenever imposter syndrome starts to set in, I start to realize, no, let's look at all of the facts. Here's all of my credentials. Here's what I've done. Here's what I know. Here's what I've done in the past. Here's why they should even accept me into this position. Whenever I start to feel that doubt of my own capabilities and my own desires, I have to remember, what is my goal? What is my dream? And it comes down to my ambitions. I have incredibly high ambitions, um, which is ridiculous in a lot of ways because I also know that having that high of an ambition means that I am setting myself up for a lot of pain if it doesn't work out. But that's the other thing is... I have plans and backup plans, and I can logically back up my ambitious sentiments with a plan of here's what I'm going to do in order to get where I want to be because I want to be up there enough to do these things, right? So, go out there. Be ambitious. Walk into the rooms that you don't think you actually have the street cred to be in. Because until you're there, you won't actually know if you belong there or not. And the fact of the matter is that everyone, literary agents, authors, publishers, editors, other writers, you, they were all where you are at some point in their life. They are all humans. People with connections and positions that can determine what happens in your life. And yet... At the same time, they don't have all the control. They are simply a human doing a job. But they are a human. Like you. They don't have to be scary. They don't have to be this big, unattainable thing. They don't have to be put up on a pedestal just because you want to be where they are. So let your ambitions guide you. That's a very Slytherin statement, but... Let your ambitions determine what you try to do and keep moving forward and keep pushing yourself. Do one scary thing a week, right? Send that email to the person you don't think you should be able to email. Reach out to the author. Even if they ignore you, you tried, right? Sign up for that class. Take the risk of spending a little bit of ad money. Do something that scares you every week. And eventually it'll pay off. And eventually it'll become the habit, and eventually those scary things that will help you get to where your ambitions are, eventually they become the path to where you want to be, and they don't stay scary. So you can do it. You can go out there and be ambitious. You can make a five-year plan if that's what it takes. But be ambitious. And be confident. And be brave. But on top of all that, also be a considerate human being, because... 
if you're not a considerate human being, that can become kind of a problem. And it means that when you actually achieve your ambitions, nobody will want to celebrate with you. So be a considerate human being. Bring other people up with you. But don't let that stop you from being ambitious. If you like this video, please go check out the rest of my channel and see what else I have to say about various different topics, whether it's different books or writing or just following my journey as I attempt the publishing world. I try to post a few times a week and you can see the rest of my videos around, you know, where to look. I mean, you're on YouTube, you've watched YouTube channels before, but if not, go check out my channel and go see the rest of the things that I talk about. Um, mostly I talk about writing and books and publishing tips. Um, I also read some of my own short stories that I write and publish on my blog. Until next time, I will see you then. Bye!